How goes the family? Welcome back to Patterson on Property. It's been a minute since I made a video, but like I said, life happens. And, um, you know, it's all good in the neighborhood. It's been a while since I made content on this channel, but like I said, life happens. And, you know, who knows what the future of this channel may be. Um, I might decide to um, keep it. I might decide to let it go. We'll just see what happens. But I always do enjoy talking about the things that are happening in real estate. So, and, you know, so for the most part, I just enjoy make, um, making the content and it's going to be what it's going to be at the end of the day. So um, I came across this article the other day, which talks about the states of Maryland and my home state of Virginia being ranked in the top highest income within the United States of America. But the cost of living as of 2024 has gotten ridiculous all across the United States of America. But in the Washington, D.C. and Maryland and Virginia, a.k.a. the DMV area, and even if you move to other parts of Maryland and Virginia, not just the most expensive parts, because the most expensive parts, if you're if you're from this area, you know where I'm going with this. If you've been to this area, you might know where I'm going with this. But the most expensive parts of Maryland and Virginia are centered around within the hour radius of Washington, D.C. So um, Fredericksburg, Virginia to Washington, D.C., that's about an hour drive without traffic or hour and 20 minutes without traffic. And then, of course, it could be longer with, with traffic. Now, um, um, so now that's in, and then, you know, you have the areas like Loudoun County, Fairfax County, Prince William County, where I'm from um, there. They all surround Washington, D.C., Arlington County. City of Alexandria, they all surround Washington, D.C., or they're in a 30 to 45 to hour radius of Washington, D.C., Stafford County, Spotsylvania County. All right. Now we'll go to the state of Maryland. Prince George's County is right outside, is right outside of Washington, D.C. It's literally walking distance. Then you have Montgomery County. Then you have Charles County. So those are the counties that surround, um, that those are the counties that surround um, and you see the map behind me. Uh, those are the those are the counties that surround that are the closest to Washington D.C. Baltimore, without traffic, Baltimore is like an hour hour twenty minutes away. Without traffic, Baltimore, uh, but Baltimore is not a part of the D.M.V. Baltimore is actually a cheaper city to live in uh, when it comes to the state of Maryland. Actually, it's the cheapest, probably major city in the state of Maryland to live in. It's the most, it's the biggest city in the state of Maryland. Um, and then when you think about these parts of Virginia, you think of Richmond, Virginia, which is the capital, um, Tywater, Virginia, which is considered to be the seven cities, Newport News, um, Suffolk, um, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Hampton, um, the list goes on and on. So uh, I, there's other cities, but I'm not going to get into it. Then you got those more rural towns and things in Virginia and Maryland, just like any other state. It's all the same. You know, big cities, suburbs, suburbs, crowded suburbs, rural towns, mid-sized cities. All right. So anyways, the cost of living is most ridiculous in the in the surrounding D.C. area and it's going up every day. So, yeah, you need to have a high income just to be able to remain in the middle class or to survive. That's where we're at now in the D in, in Maryland and Virginia. The heck, the whole DMV, the city of Washington, D.C., you basically got to make half a million dollars a year to, if you don't, if you have to pay rent or if you own a house, um, in order for you to afford to live there, or you got to be on section eight. So these are these are the things that you know you have to take into consideration, especially given the fact that the cost of a new single family home is at seven hundred thousand dollars to one million dollars. But then most single family homes, there are trailers and um, older homes that you can get for. Two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars townhomes that you can get for two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars, as far as in the state of Maryland and Virginia. Now there are still parts of Maryland, aka Baltimore and the surrounding areas, where you can buy a house under a hundred thousand uh, dollars. But will it be in the best neighborhood? That's up to you. Same thing with, with Virginia, but most likely it's going to be at least three to four hours away from Washington D.C. Um, or it's going to be in the area that's considered "quote unquote" economically undesirable. So that's where the state of Maryland and Virginia is at. So that's why I'm just like, yeah. But if it's surrounding the place where it has the most jobs and quote unquote economic economic opportunities, it's the DMV area at the end of the day. And then there's everywhere else. So like most older neighborhoods, i.e. single family homes and townhomes, like I said, are 550. Um, and then in certain instances, those houses might need a lot of work. Um, if you get, especially if you get anything around 200 some thousand dollars, nine times out of 10 is not going to be in the best neighborhood. And then it's going to need probably a lot of work. 
the neighborhoods basically have two to three families living in these neighborhoods uh, within the state of Maryland and Virginia is becoming the norm. People are living like they're living in a third world country in a sense. The article said that according to their findings, Maryland placed number five with an average of $125,000 household income and Virginia placed number 10 with an average $119,000 um, per household. Now bear in mind, a lot of these households, like I said, instead of having one to two incomes, they have four to five incomes now. A lot of uh, people forget that. but. With the taxes and inflation, people making these kind of salaries not doing as great as they used to be, especially if you have children, especially if you have student loan debt, especially if you have um, car payment, you know, newer vehicle. These are things you have to take into consideration. Um, you know, and it's just, like I said, it's, fi it's becoming a financial drain on a lot of people. Another thing to add on is that people who have purchased a home with the lower interest loans in Virginia and Maryland from 2010 to 2022 are not looking to get a higher interest rate loan with the new home or they basically can't afford to purchase a new home within the state of maryland or virginia if they do most likely nine, th nine times out of ten they have to go to a more rural area but remember when people retire they want to end up going to a state where it's not going to tax your pension or they're not going to tax your pension as much as they will in the state of virginia and maryland so it all boils down to the numbers at the end of the day the article um and it's like i said basically for most working retirees retirement is just, this is what retirement is going to look like in my personal opinion Either you, if you have children, you're gonna live with them. You're not gonna be able to afford to live in a nursing home in, in these states like Virginia or Maryland. Or you're gonna to have to end up move, moving to a more rural state like uh, Wyoming or more rural town because your pension and your, all, um, your benefits are not really gonna be able to carry you over. Even moving to Texas in, in Florida, just because they don't have state income taxes and whatnot, you're going to have to most likely live in the more rural areas. You're not going to be able to live near or in the major metropolitan areas of those states because those places have become overpriced and overcrowded as, as well. So bear, keep, always keep these things in mind. All right. But anyways, I digress. The article went on to say, um, talking about all the states within the United States have the highest income. All right. So New Jersey was number one. Um, Millions of households, people making 134K. Massachusetts, people making 133K. California making 131. I figured that they would have to make more than that because um, per household, because you know California and, and California is one of my favorite states as far as geography and culture wise, but economically, not the best place to be. Um, Connecticut, 128 per household. Uh, Maryland already in D. Maryland 125K per household. Um, Washington DC states, usually with less population, less demand, it means um, it's a lower cost of living, but every state is different. So I'm not gonna comment on states I'm not familiar with. New York state, 119, uh, and obviously Virginia, 119. So who would have thought that Virginia and New York state, it's still cheaper to live in Virginia compared to New York state, but um, who would have thought they'd be neck and neck. Now at the end of the day, the basic things that all these states have in common is high cost of living, overpriced real estate, growing homeless populations, bear in mind, in Virginia, Maryland fall in this category as well. I grew up in Virginia and I've noticed that there's a bigger homeless population. Higher taxes, overpopulated areas, et cetera and so forth. Because if people make these kinds of six figure salaries in these states like Mississippi, Alabama, Kansas, Michigan, New Mexico, Arkansas, Louisiana, then homeowners could save more and invest more of their money. But for the state of Virginia and Maryland, these high salaries equals to 65 to 70 percent of their salaries going towards their cost of living. And I, and I always say now, if you're a person that does not have student loan debt, your person does not have um, high car, uh, high car payment or a no car payment. And if you don't have children, then your money and if you're making the quote unquote, the six figure salaries or above, then your money will go a lot further. You'll be able to put yourself in an economic position to where you can buy a house and you put yourself in an economic position to where you can save more money and invest more money. Because I don't care what state you live in, I don't care who's in the White House, Governor's House, Mayor's House, who's serving in Congress. If you as a working person are not in a position every month where you can, and I'm not giving financial advice, I'm just talking about what works for me, can put money away in the savings account for a rainy day, uh, have a good enough credit score to get access to capital in case for you, you know, to invest uh, for yourself um, and, uh, you know, put, get yourself out of economic bind. Then another thing to add on to that caveat, are you investing your money in the stock market or outside of your 401k? Are you investing your money into bonds? Are you investing your money in annuities? Are you investing your money in anything? Cryptocurrency, et cetera, and so forth. Because, you know, we only have a certain amount of time that we can actually work until our mind and our body gives out. But 
are you going to put yourself in a position to where you can um, ensure that money is working for you 24 hours and seven days a week? Up to you. I'm not getting on financial advice. So that's all I got. Um, like I said, me being from the DIA, I mean, the, D, the, the, the DMV area, I can uh, assure you that the cost of living will continue to go up. The population will continue to go up. And um, not the most exciting place to live, in my personal opinion. So everything, if you live in Maryland, Virginia, as far as, quote unquote, within our radius of D.C., everything's catered towards D.C. And D.C. is one of the worst cities to drive in, one of the worst cities to try to have a good time in. And apparently, like I said, the crime rate has gone up tremendously. So a lot of people aren't even going to the city. So the city will be losing a lot of money and they will be losing a lot of tax base based off of uh, these uh, current events that are taking place. So anyways. Uh, family, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're from the DMV area, if you're from anywhere in Maryland and Virginia, give me your opinions in the comment sections. I'm giving you mine from a person who's from the DMV area. I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia. All right. Patterson Oak Properties, we wholesale real estate in the DMV area and uh, in the Pennsylvania area, specifically Philadelphia, Reading, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, and that whole tr tri-state area. So on that note, do the great thing for things. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great night. Remember, you can't get fired if you own the company. It's 2024 going to 2025. It's time for you to own something. Make money moves or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care.